Attorney Dean Lloyd suffers from retinitis pigmentosa, a degenerative eye disease which destroys photoreceptor cells and impedes a person's ability to detect light. I saw nothing uh, except maybe I could ascertain daytime from nighttime. That was the only thing I could perceive for 17 years. Now, a device 20 years in the making that will soon be commercially available in the U.S. is helping patients like Lloyd. That perception was sort of like a flash of light or a star that you might see in the sky. Well, now I can see boundaries and borders. The Argus II by Second Sight was FDA approved earlier this year, and patients are being screened at the 12 major U.S. hospitals chosen as implant centers. And you can hear it beeping away. The device includes a chip with an array of electrodes that's implanted on the retina and glasses with a video camera that wirelessly transmits images. It converts that video into a 60 pixel image that then delivers electronic impulses to the 60 little electrodes in the chip that then stimulate the retina to generate a perception or message that the brain can then interpret and understand. The device doesn't restore vision, but patients can detect light and dark, thus identifying an object's location and movement. I walk down a sidewalk from a bus stop to my office on a daily basis, and I can see where the grass comes up to a sidewalk that's like concrete color. The device is not going to enable them to you know, drive a car or you know, read fine prints on a newspaper, but that it might help them um, enjoy better quality of life. Some patients report that they can see the outline of people talking to them. Um, some patients have benefited from being able to sort their laundry from light and dark socks. Settings for the Argus II can be modified for individual needs. Second Sight is also working on software upgrades to improve resolution and possibly provide color. Lloyd says he now almost feels naked without them. They say, sir, uh, oh, your Google glasses look real, really nice. I said, I don't have Google glasses, thank you. That's good, doctor. Yep. Making okay. some take a second look at the first government-approved bionic eye. Sumi Das, San Francisco, CNET for CBS News. <laughs>